Um, yes, I would like to speak about um, urban gardening in the context of sustainable urban development. Um, um, I'm going to start with a very short uh, theoretical historical insight into the whole urban garden movement, and then I would like to uh, compare three urban gardening projects, um, two from Germany, one from Ljubljana, um, by asking what are the main aims and strategies of the urban garden project, uh, who is participating, and how are the projects positioned in their cities. And in the conclusion, I would like to highlight the opportunities and requirements uh, of urban gardens in the context of an urban uh, sustainable development. Okay, uh, when and why did uh, urban gardens actually develop? Um, well, we can say that in the 1970s, urban gardens developed on decayed areas in New York City, um, and rapidly there was a growing movement uh, uh, of community gardens uh, across Northern America. Since then, um, more and more urban gardens have uh, appeared, uh, popped up uh, around the world. Uh, there were also new concepts developed. Um, for example, the uh, intercultural gardens um, initially started in Germany. Uh, there is a strong focus um, on the integration of um, marginalized social communities, for example. Or we have the guerrilla gardening and city farm uh, movement starting in Great Britain. Um, the appearance and size of these gardens, as well as the motivations of the gardeners, may vary greatly in detail. However, we can say that these gardens um, have in common that they are de that developed mostly from the bottom as community projects. So this is the really um, yes, unique and special thing about uh, urban garden projects. Um, Urban gardens practically demonstrate an ecologically and socially different approach to the usage um, of urban spaces uh, and the possibility of their inhabitants to be part of this urban development and forming and designing um, their um, uh, city quarters and their surrounding. And it gives um, uh, or it enables the social empowerment of marginalized communities, uh, may it be social excluded communities or religious excluded communities, whatever. Um, with urban gardens, uh, various critics are also formulated um, and alternatives are developed. Uh, these critics uh, may focus, for example, on the neoliberal economic system, on the processes of urban development and the possibilities or non-possibilities of uh, the citizens um, being part of this urban development. Um, furthermore, urban gardens are places of learning, communica communicating, meeting, having fun, actually. Um, yeah, in a pragmatic way, such gardens raise the question of how we want to live in our cities in the future, even or especially when more and more people will be living in the cities. Okay, um, the three gardens I would like to present. First of all, the Princess Gardens from um, uh, Berlin, in Germany. Then the Stadtgarten Konowitz uh, in Leipzig, in Germany. Uh, and finally, I would like to speak about the Beyond the Construction Site project, uh, which I discovered uh, when I was doing research in Ljubljana between 2009 and 2012 for my PhD. So I might not present the most recent development of this project, but I still wanted to include it into the um, presentation. Okay, the Princess Gardens in Berlin, um, they are quite famous now. Maybe one of you has heard about them. Um, so, yeah, well, maybe the best uh, uh, view. But, um, the non-profit company Nomadic Green uh, la launched the Princess Gardens as a social enterprise in 2009 at Moritzplatz in Berlin-Kreuzberg. Here in the city center, on a plot with the size of around about a soccer field that lay disused for decades, vegetables, fruits, and herbs are grown. The garden as a whole is mobile, um, so we have a bar, a kitchen, workshop, and storage facilities that are located in disused and converted shipping containers. Crops are planted in raised beds made from plastic boxes or rice sacks. Uh, a method uh, of cultivation that is independent from the ground below um, that allows for organi organic far farming in a city where the lands available are usually either paved or contam contaminated, which was the case of this um, area. Uh, the mobility of the garden is important since the Princess Gardens rent uh, the land at Moritzplatz from the city. Um, so the possible privatization of this land could lead to the relocation of the garden um, to a different site, um, which, especially in Berlin, is always a risk. Um, a lot of land is being privatized, so maybe one day or another uh, it might happen that the Princess Gardens will have to move. 
Um, the income for the garden is generated through the garden's restaurant and the sale of vegetables from funds that were acquired uh, for the implementation of various uh, educational projects, from the construction of other gardens, for, from consulting services, fees for images, presentations and guided tours, as well as from donations in form of planter and garden sponsorships. Um, <clears throat> the second garden I would like to speak of is the Stadtgarten in Konnewitz in Leipzig. Uh, the, this garden is located on a former schoolyard since 1993. Uh, the initiative Ökolöwe, which is an independent, regional and non-profit association, um, created a space for learning, nature experiences and recreation. The main aims of the garden are the education for children, of children, the consultancy for ecologi ecological gardening, and yeah, actually to create an open space for everybody who would like to enjoy a garden in, an, in, an, in the city quarter. And the third project um, is the Beyond Construction Site project um, in Ljubljana. Um, the development of the community garden in the city center of Ljubljana uh, near the central train station started in 2009. Um, the city sold the area to a private investor who went bankrupt and could not realize his plans. So it became a decayed area and a lot of the neighbors were annoyed by, the, by, the, by this place. Um, a lot of rubbish uh, was thrown into the area. Um, so when the initiators, uh, the Obrad Culture and Art Association, developed their plans uh, to establish a community garden, they started to negotiate with the city um, and the city gave the space temporarily to the activists who established then together with the neighbors living around this garden uh, and other interested people the community garden. And from the beginning on it was per perceived and used positively by the neighbors and the citizens of Ljubljana. Uh, in the first month the garden was partly financed by the EU project Sostenuto, um, but the initiators and the other users, they run the garden voluntarily. Um, okay, the main aims and strategies of all three um, gardens in, com in comparison. Uh, in Berlin, in the Princess Gardens, uh, as of we have this um, a nomadic green social enterprise who runs and is responsible for the garden. And the primary aim was actually to make uh, the garden a place of informal learning. Over the years, now it's uh, existing since seven years, uh, the Princess Gardens have become a place for encounter, exchange, and expression of critics, uh, especially regarding the privatization of public space, the exclusion of social groups from urban development and uh, food production. And it's also a place for recreation, so a lot of tourists come and visit the place. They also generate uh, income for the garden. In Leipzig, um, uh, as I said, the nonprofit organization Ökolöwe, who founded the garden, pursues uh, three aims with the garden. Um, the first one and the central one, I, I would say, is education. So we have a lot of uh, learning opportunities regarding nature and environment for different age groups. And the aim is to develop an interest uh, for nature and environment and to increase the knowledge about its cultivation and protection. And the main focus is on children, kindergarten children, school children. Uh, the second um, aim of the garden uh, is the consultancy. Uh, so the garden uh, offers ideal opportunities to offer on-site consultancy um, regarding ecological uh, gardening. So on the area we have th different thematic areas with different lo local conditions have been installed to demonstrate the cultivation of mainly domestic plants. Um, and the third aim, as I said before, is it's the get-together. So um, the garden is situated in a dense populated city quarter. Um, and there the garden has become a quite popular place for recreation, for people meeting. And the um, Ökolöwe, um, who runs the place, um, organizes several events on the, on the place. Um, in Ljubljana, um, uh, we could also pursue, or they, the initiators of the um, uh, Beyond the Construction site, they also pursue three aims. Um, first of all, when they were initializing this um, garden, they would like wanted to criticize um, the decreasing public urban space that can be used freely by artists, social activists, and they wanted to develop an alternative usage option for abandoned public spaces. Um, another aim when they initial uh, or founded the garden was the um, 
It also presents a critique to the city's, pol city's policy of organizing and leasing small garden plots, which was adopted by the city in 2009. So the gardeners with this project uh, criticize uh, the city's policy and measures for organizing gardens as being too rigid, standardized, and overly formalistic. So the criteria for leasing a garden plot, age and income, or turning the gardening areas into social ghettos, they were saying, or when I uh, had interviews with people who initiated this garden. Um, and the gardens are being uh, relegated to the city outskirts, they criticize, um, and, it will, and they predicted that there will be a drastic reduction in the amount of land allotted to community gardens. And the third aim, again, like in the two other examples, um, is to shape a place for communication and community. Um, regarding particip the participants in the three um, uh, garden projects, so in Berlin we have many people who are involved voluntarily in order to make this place possible, um, and it is run and managed by a social enterprise, um, and nobody on this area who is using uh, the, the beds is owning their own bed, so it's always available for everybody. Um, in, Ljubljana, in Leipzig, um, as I said, the garden is run by this non-profit organization that bundles mainly voluntary workers. Um, and in comparison to the two gardens in Berlin and Ljubljana, this garden project, I would say, is the most formalized, and its status and funding is clear due to a close cooperation with the city administration. Um, and in Ljubljana, we have this, um, as I said, this cultural association who funded the uh, place. And <clears throat> Still, different social and artistic stakeholders are involved in the project and is open to neighbors who are invited to participate in the project. And again, nobody owns their own beds in, in this garden. Finally, um, <clears throat> when thinking about how are the, um, the gardens or the projects positioned in their city, well, in Berlin, um, the non-profit organization who is in charge of the garden uh, has a contract with the uh, city authorities for the temporary usage of the area. So this is limited and dependent on the privatization plans of the city. Um, and urban garden projects in Berlin are presented on the web page of the city, but not explicitly. Um, so you can, you can find the project under the heading Culture and Tickets. Uh, where several garden projects of Berlin um, are, are bundled, but it's not presented uh, explicitly on the, on the web page, for example. Um, in Leipzig, the garden um, is being supported by the Department for Youth, Family and Community and the Department for Urban Parks and Waters. However, due to public cost cuts, uh, the garden had to, um, to limit its opening hours. And uh, in comparison to the garden projects in Berlin and Ljubljana, uh, this project has the most public support um, and the usage of their area for gardening is not limited. So it will stay there, I guess, um, if not something uh, unexpected happens, but it will not be privatized or anything. Um, on the web page, the Department for Urban Park and Waters highlights the network Gardening Leipzig, a network that bundles various organizations, institutions, and individuals in Leipzig and surrounding regions that somehow deal with gardening, with green spaces, with uh, regional food uh, production and um, selling. Um, so here all urban garden projects are presented and inhabitants are invited to participate in the projects and the events that are offered. Um, in Ljubljana, um, uh, the initiators uh, reached an agreement with the city author authorities on the temporary usage of the area. Um, but as uh, Sasha told me, the garden is still there, so um, they uh, were successful to um, stay there for a longer time. Um, the garden is highlighted on the city webpage, describing more than 20 sustainable green projects in the context of the Green Capital Campaign. Um, here it is described as a small-scale neighborhood project. Um, interestingly, uh, the project is not described as urban garden, but as a project on open space, since urban gardens are understood as the classical allotments by the city authorities. Okay, um, now come to my uh, conclusions regarding the opportunities and requirements for um, urban gardening um, in the context of sustainable urban development. So I would say uh, opportunities um, are that open spaces for recreation and community building are especially needed in urban spaces with increasingly diverse and heterogeneous inhabitants. So it might be one of the tools for integration. Um, 
it gives the, or the opportunity for alternative usage of public urban spaces, so not only for living or for commercial uh, means, but also for social and eco ecological means. And it also gives the um, opportunity of, to develop alternative modes of food production, uh, which need to be, to be developed to ensure more regional food production supply chains. Um, regarding the requirements <coughs> of uh, uh, for sustainable urban gardening, um, I, think, uh, I think a close cooperation between city governments and garden communities is necessary regarding, for example, the legal statutes of the gardens, um, uh, regarding the acknowledging the significance of open and public spaces for urban society in general, um, or regarding the usage of decayed areas for urban gardens. Um, furthermore, then it should be integrated, or the urban gardens shall be integrated into building and planning laws. Um, inhabit inhabitants should be allowed to shape and design and be part of their cities. Um, and it's also very necessary to keep non-commercial commercial and public zones in urban areas so that such projects like urban gardens can be developed. And so the preservation of public spaces that can be used for such projects is also necessary. Um, like we can see at the, uh, for in, uh, in the case of the Princess Gardens, that they are also always in risk or in danger that they have to move to other places when the uh, land is going to be sold by the city. Mm, and I think we also need urban politics that do not only pursue economic but also social and ecological aims, which then allow um, to be more open and supportive of uh, urban garden projects. Thank you very much. <laughs>